is December 13th, 2016. And I just received some very disturbing news about the eruption of Mount St. Helen in the state of Washington here in the United States. Now, anybody over the age of 40 remembers the cataclysmic events of the explosion and the eruption of Mount St. Helen. The report just came out a few hours ago that seismologists and scientists from the USGS are monitoring Mount St. Helen for a possible cataclysmic eruption. Back in November, apparently, there were several earthquakes that were reported towards the end of November. And I'm just going to go ahead right now and get directly into this report. Swarms of earthquakes reported at Mount St. Helen. This is by MyNorthWestNews.com, December 13th, 2016. This report came out at 7.19 a.m. this morning. Now, it goes into exactly what I was just talking about. It states that four swarms of more than 120 earthquakes shook Mount St. Helens in the late November, less than a week before all of this scientific evidence was leaked out. Now, I did hear something about this, but now when you start to ask more and more questions, they have no choice but to start to release this information. Now, this happened in late November. Approximately two weeks later, we're now starting to hear this information. Now, it goes in and states further, a seismologist with the Cascades Volcano Observatory in Vancouver told the Seattle Times that each of these little earthquakes is a reminder of an eruption someday, but the recent swarms do not indicate when the next eruption may be. Listen, folks, I remember Mount St. Helen very, very well. The same identical scenario occurred as is occurring right now. They had some activity on the mountainside. They sent scientists, seismologists, and videographers out there to stand watch. 57 people lost their lives that day, including one of the photographers. And yes, he gave his life for the footage that you saw in the opening of this video. I'm going to leave a link to this story in the description box. But something I want to show you also. This is the current earthquake tracker live right now. Right now, everything up to date. Just look at your screen. Let's go over a few of these. Canada, five hours ago, magnitude 3.7. Four hours ago, central Mexico. Let's, sorry about that, it's updating. Magnitude 4.5 right on the coast, central Mexico. Another 4.7, Tajikistan. Another 4.5, again, in Indonesia. Several earthquakes, once again, in the Solomon Islands. Magnitude 5, two hours ago. Again, Indonesia, the Papua New, uh, Papua New Guinea area. These earthquakes are erupting all over the planet. Philippines, magnitude 4.6. Once again, in the Indonesia area, magnitude 4.5. They just had an earthquake in the northern North Sea, magnitude 2.4. Listen, there was another small earthquake in the northern tip of France. Okay, again. Now, we have another earthquake three hours ago in Canada, magnitude 3. So what I'm trying to tell you folks is the bottom line is these earthquakes are rocking and rolling and I really hope people are paying attention to what is going on. We have so many threats against our civilization right now. I hope everyone is literally opening up your eyes and I hope that you're starting to pay attention to what is happening. You know, I opened up this morning with the horrible weather that we're, we're, we're having and we're about to have. 
And then we have the cosmic wave of energy from this magnetar that is supposedly coming our way. And I'm still waiting on the last bit of information for that report. I will have it later on in the afternoon. And now, here we are, early afternoon, and we're getting these reports that they're now watching Mount St. Helens for another eruption. And that hasn't happened for a long, long time. As you can see, the earthquake tracker globe in the upper right-hand corner. And if you don't see it, well, here, I'll move it right in front of your face. That way you can see what is going on. These are earthquakes that are shaking and rattling this earth, and that is only the last 72 hours. That's it, folks. That's the last 72 hours. Now, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. We might as well just open up the whole entire globe, and let's take a look at what's been going on for the last seven days. The last seven days. Look at your screen. And I sure hope that you don't let someone bend your ear and tell you that all of this is normal and part of nature. Well, yes, it may be a part of nature, but this is not normal. This is abnormal. There is something affecting the earth. It has been affecting the earth this entire year of 2016. I've been documenting it each and every day. Take a look at the globe rolling on your screen and you tell me if you think that is normal. It's not normal, folks. It's time for preparedness. It's time for knowledge. It's time to wake up. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the Nibiru channel. It is December 13th, 2016, and I just received some very disturbing news about the eruption of Mount St. Helen in the state of Washington here in the United States. Now, anybody over the age of 40 remembers the cataclysmic events of the explosion and the eruption of Mount St. Helen. The report just came out a few hours ago that seismologists and scientists from the USGS are monitoring Mount St. Helen for a possible cataclysmic eruption. Back in November, apparently, there were several earthquakes that were reported towards the end of November. And I'm just going to go ahead right now and get directly into this report. Swarms of earthquakes reported at Mount St. Helens.